Hey there, and welcome to another tutorial. This time we will talk about bracket packages. It is a really helpful feature that speeds up your bracketing process. And if set up correctly, you can create all your brackets in no time. The package you create tells SmoothComp to choose the correct type of bracket based on the number of athletes in your groups. And group is the terminology we use for division before the bracket is created. The beauty with creating brackets with the bracket package is that if you move or copy an athlete from one bracket to another, SmoothComp will automatically adjust the old and the new brackets according to the package. Okay, let's set up your first package. Click Admin and Brackets. And then Bracket Packages. Create a new package. Name it something that reflects the rules that you will create in the bracket package and then choose your first interval. If you want SmoothComp to create a bracket for single athletes, then choose the one-to-one -one and choose a bracket for that. If, if you don't want that, then adjust the range. The next interval, a group with two athletes. I like to use the two-player best out of three option. Next interval is three to three maybe. I'll choose a bracket for that. We have two variations of the three player comeback, so I'll choose this one. My next interval is four to six. So I'll choose a bracket for that. The round robin. We have different variations here. You can use a true round robin where everyone plays everyone or give max number of matches. You can also determine how to calculate the placements, either by wins or set up match points. Make sure to check out the video about match points if you want to learn more about that. And then my last interval in this example would be 7 to 9. And I'll just use a double elimination and a bronze match. I'll let everyone be able to qualify in the rapid charge. And then I'll save. And once the bracket package is set up, I'll go over to registrations. Here I will filter for no brackets. And then I'll choose an entry, in this example women, with white belts. Because I know they all have the same fighting time. They fight for five minutes. And by doing so, I can create all of those brackets in a batch. Without the bracket package set up, and if I don't use it, I would need to manually create a bracket and make sure to pick the right type of bracket for a group with six fighters. But as you can see in this list, we have different number of athletes in the groups. So we have six, we have nine, we have eight, four, etc. But since we have a bracket package now, SmoothComp will automatically use the right type of bracket that we have set up. And then we can just go on and toggle all and then batch create them. We create them all. Here's an overview of the groups that you are about to create brackets for. So I'll click next. And now choose the package that, that you just created. Assign the brackets to a mat. Choose how to separate the seed. Input the time per round, and then choose one of the scoreboards that we offer. And then just create brackets. After a couple of seconds, SmoothComp has now created all those brackets. And if I go to brackets and schedule, under Mat A here, you can see that they are all created here. If I click one of them, Here's a round robin, and if I click edit, I can see here that the bracket package demo was used. You can also see this small icon looks like a package. This indicates that a bracket package was used. Going back, let's see another example here. This one. So this group only had two athletes. Bracket package was used, and the bracket type is best out of three. 
But the real beauty here is that if you make a change after the brackets were created, SmoothComp will automatically update the old and the new bracket. Here you can see that there's no bracket package used when this bracket was created. But here, that little icon is visible again. So let's see if I can find an example here. So here we have four athletes. And remember, in our range, we had a rule that if a group contained three athletes, it should use the best uh, the three man option brackets so if i were to remove teresa here from this group so it becomes three this bracket will update then i will just copy this text so it makes it easier for me to find that group like that and then i'll click next and now you can see that this old group that teresa is in will now go from a current bracket is round robin but update according to bracket package it will now become a bgj3 uh, bracket instead and the group that she is moved to she will just be added to the first available spot and we also even uh, give information here that this group had seven athletes before you move and now you will have eight athletes so just click move registrations and now Teresa is here instead and this group was a round robin but it now instead has been changed to a BGJ3 bracket but this also works from here in the detailed view so if I move Joe McCarthy from the main bracket and put here in the unplaced section you will see that the bracket package spots this and the new bracket type after i save will now be a best out of three moving her back in again we will go back to uh, bj3 again so using bracket package as you can see is very powerful because you won't miss anything. If you move or copy an athlete from one group to another, it all automatically adjusts according to the package. All right. Good luck with your next event. Make sure to use bracket packages and also make sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any new tutorials. All right. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.